guys welcome back to my channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we are back with another unboxing or unbagging either way this package comes to us from shimmer stitch um as i told you guys before they had a 997 sale and i bought a couple of canvases waited a little bit for them to get here um editing we should put all the info right there uh but let's get into this shall we hopefully everybody's having a good day my entire house is home sick, so if you hear noise in the background, I make no apologies. We have the plague here. Apparently, everybody has the plague. We're just going to annihilate this packaging, because why not? So, this came in on, I want to say Saturday. And I'm just now opening it. And it came like this. Which I have to say, I'm actually pretty impressed. It looks like this came actually from their Idaho location instead of, like, China. If you remember, the last one I unboxed, which was the mountain one, came from China. This one, of course, looked like it came from the Idaho location because of how well it's put together. And the fact that it shows you what is in there. So if you can see there, it's a peacock feather. And then we have a flower. All right, so let's take a look at these canvases. So if you don't like the crinkling noise of the plastic, mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. We're gonna do one at a time here. So we're gonna put that one to the side because I'm actually pretty excited for that one. Um, not that I'm not excited for this one, but they look like it packaged it very well. You have your basic of basic uh, pumpkin spice wool socks. Uh, you have your boat with no spout wax. Drill pan with no multi-placer in the crap tweezers. Y'all don't care about that. All right. So we have... Oh, the plastic on it's a little wonky. That's all right. So let's get into it. Let's look at these canvases. Um, I was actually wondering what was taking these so long to get here because I, I, I thought they were coming from the Idaho location, but apparently there was like a wait or a hold on them or something. So apparently I had to wait a little bit, which is not a problem. I don't mind waiting. Not like I don't have enough to keep me busy, right? It's on a little tiny foam roller. It's a little tiny foam roller. Hey, get, get the hell out of here. You don't care about that. All right. So... There's the image. And don't worry, those aren't rivers in the plat in the canvas. That's just on the that's the plastic. There looks to be Yeah, no, that's just the plastic. So, if you can see clear drill filled. I don't think I'm going to have a problem seeing any of those. It has 25 colors. And it, of course, has the number, the symbol, and the DMC number. So I think that's going to be very pretty. And I bought two of them because I was like, oh, $9.97. You know, yeah, I got I to gotta get up on top of that. Like, why not? And the last one I did, which was the lotus flower in the on the lily pad, was actually pretty nice. So, yeah. And again, I do like that they have these little pictures because I just stick them on the top here. And then when I'm working, I know what it's supposed to look like. And it looks like there's going to be a splash of green here. This is all going to be pink. And then there's going to be blacks and greens around the side. So that's another quick little project. And, of course, that little picture gives you the details. So it's a 20 by 25. Again, I didn't want to go huge with getting them. I'm not going to pull these out of here, but you can see the beautiful colors. There's a lot of pinks and greens. And I'm going to guess that's 939 or black. So yeah, it's all in there, nice and straight. So let's take a look at these peacock again. If you don't like the plastic, mute your phone for like 30 seconds. I've been actually pretty excited to get this one. So yeah, again, it's a 20 by 25 and that's what it is. And when I buy these little ones, I purposely find ones that don't have a whole lot of detail because you know in the little ones you're not getting no freaking detail. You got another crap. Yeah, get, get the hell out of here. Um, 
Yeah, you're not going to get a whole lot of detail in the small ones. So the, the trick is to buy ones that don't have a whole lot of detail. Like you don't want to go buy one that has like a whole person or something in it. And of course the back looks really good. There's some like, you know, folds in it, but that's okay. That might be from the little foam roller. Little foam, get the hell out of here. All right, so let's take a look at this. Wow. Let's get it so it's not upside down. And again, that's just wrinkles in the plastic there. So the canvas actually looks really good. Just some quick little projects, because not every canvas you buy has to be huge. Let's check the drill field on this one. Is it nice and clear? Yeah, it's nice and clear. So yeah. Not everything has to be huge. So I'm very happy with these. Again, the little picture. You gotta love that little picture. Um, what I would suggest if you're looking to buy from Shimmer Stitch, because again, it's not consistent to what you get if you get it from um, China versus like the one, the place actually in Idaho. So what I would do is of course, also on the packaging, you'll see this number here that corresponds with the canvas. So this one says J2299. So I know that these go with this canvas and that goes with that canvas. So when I go to put them away, when I bring them back out, I know which one goes with which. But yeah, so if you're going to order from them, I check to make sure that they do come from the Idaho location. If you want them to look like this, um, the China location will give you what you would normally get, say, from like AliExpress or something. Me personally, if I was going to buy from them again, which I will, I mean, I don't have a reason to not buy from them. Uh, the first canvas I had was amazing. It had a bunch of extra drills. I had no issues at all um, with their other canvas. I actually really like these small sizes because uh, they work up really quick. And surprisingly, I don't have any issues with them. And they all turn out great. Like the Lotus Flower one turned out way better than I thought it would. Um, so I can't honestly say I have no issues with buying from them again um when it comes to uh ordering ooh, look at the colors in that one sorry i guess i didn't show you the colors for the peacock feather lots of purples and blues and reds and greens but uh when it comes to ordering i would definitely try ordering from their idaho location and not finding an image that they don't have in stock because if it comes from the china location it's not as I, i'm not gonna say it's not as good but i like i like this and the one that came from the China location that I bought last time did not look like this. So I would honestly say if you're going to buy from them, try to find something that they have in stock in the Idaho location because then it's going to come out like this. I Again, I've had no problems with them. I would definitely order from them again. So there is my shimmer stitch. So if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Or keep them to yourself. I don't care. At this point, if you don't ask the question and you're sitting there with the question in your head, obviously you're going to want to ask it. So just write it down in the comment section. It takes 30 seconds, people, okay? It takes 30 seconds. Either way, hopefully you guys are having a great day and you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down at this point. I don't give a crap. Either way, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.